my life lesson would be um, just always focus on the positive stuff. Every every time there's like something negative, and I used to like focus on all the negative stuff, and then. Like for example, if there would be like, uh, if I release a new track, there would be 99 good comments and one bad one. And I would be like, why would someone say that? And just only focus on the one bad comment. But for me, what really helped was for me just to like forget, like don't even pay attention to the negative stuff. Just always focus on the positive stuff. Yeah, sometimes I read something and then I'm like, why would you even, why would you even, if you, have, if you want to say it, like then just don't say anything. But um, yeah, some people have their entire life on the internet. They want to be gangster on the internet. And then in the end, for me, it, it, it's like if people don't move at the show, if I don't, if people don't go to the shows, if people don't like the shows, then I'm then I'm worried. But if there's one comment on the internet, yeah, it's just a comment. I don't think I missed out on that that much of my youth. Because the thing is, um, for me and for the team as well, it's, it it was challenging. But what we really wanted to do was to come to like. I have two separate lives, I have, I have me on stage and doing interviews and making music as Martin Garrix, but also being not too much on the tour, we also still have time to be with my friends, uh, my parents, my, my sister, my family. I don't think I... The thing is, like, it also brings so much great stuff, the fact that I'm touring right now. I can bring my friends, my family on tour. So yeah, of course there are some things which I miss out on. Like sometimes it's a birthday party from friends of mine, and I have to do a show somewhere. And then I see like in their group WhatsApp chat like photos from the night. I'm like, oh, I wish I was there. But then the other side, like touring and making music in general, brings so much great stuff as well. So it's 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 definitely worth it. It's never too early and never too late, I think, to pursue a career in music. I'm never like. I got this message, I did a Q&A earlier today, and I got this message like, hey, I'm 21 and you start when you are eight. Like, is there still a chance for me to break through? And I was like, do you, of course. <laughs> Armin van Buren, he did like a four year study. I think he, he, he broke through and he was like, in his 20s, 20, 20, 27, like, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but for example him, that it's like age doesn't mean a thing in the music industry. It's about what you do, what you deliver, like the music you make, uh, how your shows are, how you are on stage. It's, age is just a number. What I had trouble with was that no label wanted to sign my stuff in the first four years, five years. And, and every time I had a track, I was like, wow, this track is amazing. And then I sent it to all the labels and I would get no reply. And as a producer, it's the most frustrating thing ever, especially when you think, like, oh, this track can be a hit. I just need a good label. But right now, if I listen back to the tracks, I'm like, of course the label's gonna reply. But I was always too like stuck up on like, oh, a label didn't reply and I wouldn't produce for two weeks because I felt bad. And then I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I'll try it again. I'll open the, the program. So my advice is definitely like, try to keep better, get better, get better, spend as much time as you can in the studio and the labels will find you instead of you finding a label.